Okay, Beano Black folks, and first off, I thought I'd make a video about this, and then it's like, well, we've all seen these awesome shots from up at uh, Soho. So anyway, I'm not even going to take time because the video that we found from Hawaii is even more impressive than this Soho shot. As you know, more than likely, you can see the element. We'll zoom this in real fast here. So I'll go ahead and hit this up to 400, and we can zoom right in on what we're talking about the idea. We know that Earth is smaller than any little speck that you see in this photo, okay? Look at the size of almost like a nuclear blast or something from this. Okay, I mean, we know this is a solar flare. It's humongous. But check out the little eye hole. First time I've ever seen it, something that humongous. And the idea is what would create that in a ball of flame like that that we've seen off the sun? Because we've always kind of seen this, I don't know, some butterfly effect coming off the... You imagine how humongous that flare is, okay? And all the ones we have seen too. But the spectacular of the objects. So actually, I'm not even going to do it in this one. I'm going to, at the end of this, match up and get the objects that are in the sky on this. And because we have video from Hawaii that's even more spectacular. Okay. And it is 8.23 p.m. Central Standard Time, 11.29.2011. And we have this awesome shot from out from Navy. And we say hello to all our armed forces. And thank you for this shot. Uh, this is awesome because we got a lot of objects there and the idea that we're going to be able to go, well, okay, well, this is this object and that's that object. And then what the heck is this stuff? Okay, so there you go. There's a bunch of stuff and you can blow it up even more. And I've got some photos in the next video. But let's check out Hawaii. Okay, footage from Hawaii here. And we are going to hit play and you're going to see that it's not an airplane that like everybody else is being BNSs, BSing us and then we'll go ahead and look at some photos which will basically give you I kind of screwed up on the screen saver but I will be able to show you photos which will be better at even but it, let's, let's just hit play on this okay go back there we go get the video kind of boring but we do know that we see this object there whether that's the blue kachina well we got enough time too on this video that we'll go ahead and you see you can keep seeing that right there and there's also one over there and whether it is this here, whether these are reflections, which I do not believe so. I think these are the tetrahydrons of one of the objects or asteroid belt that we've got around right now. Because that's there and that's there. And they're going to end up with sky and clouds disappearing. But otherwise, they're pretty much statutory in their locations all the time on these Hawaii videos. Okay, Okay, forget that. Let's check out the V, which we know for dang sure is not because you're going to let this play there's going to be object in the middle there and you're going to see that that's not no airplane because all you got to do is watch the time right down here this is minutes okay that 20 moving on right there that is 20 hundred hour 50 something minutes 2100 hour 17 those are minutes ticking away okay so I'll move my hand up here again. Oop, screwed it up. I'll hit play. There we go. Okay, this is going to play, and then I'll zoom, I'll put it back one more time so you guys can play with this video and watch But this is all true. You should have just seen a object that is orbiting uh, Earth's atmosphere, or if it's above our stratosphere, uh, take a right-hand turn, okay? And if not, I'm going to play it back in a second, and you're going to see it again. And you're going to see it, and I'm going to show it to you in photos. Okay, there we go. There's another one. It's not a plane. That was not a plane. Okay. I'll be able to show you in some photos here in a second. And this is at that site, too, and you can be able to go back up there and see it. I can't move my mouse around, because if I move the mouse around, then you'll end up... Uh, well, free, you know, and you'll not get this. Now, I think... Basically, this was the 28th and 29th. I haven't looked too much on the dates on this yet. But the idea that it's nightly. And the idea that you can also understand that there's more than one sun there. I have enough time. We'll hit play one more time. Okay. So, you got the objects to the left hand and not even put my arrow out there. You can see those. They come statutory up there every time the video starts. Usually on any one of these videos from Hawaii. Okay. And then there goes our, basically, 
and I do not believe in UFOs, folks. This is basically light from outer space and objects reflecting light in outer space. And that was the big that you're going to see in the photos. I'm not going to move my, I'm trying to not do the mouse so that we're, this should go through pretty fast. And you're going to see that gigantic pyramid. And I do believe that we have finally found something in history. This is Beano Black Theory. That the idea that ages ago mankind made the pyramids for a reason. To mock what they see in the sky. Years and years and years ago. Because in this video, if you replay it, you will see a pyramid move across the sky. And also with these light reflections that you are seeing. And I'm going to show you the pyramid in photos here in a second. As soon as this quits playing, because then the idea that you'll go this and then also watch, you'll go to, this, you'll see my editorial and showing the pictures. The times are going to match. As you see that object go across the sky, and that is not an airplane. These objects are not airplanes. There might be, you might, someone may be able to pick out some airplane, but if you watch the clock, you will know that there is nothing that moves across the sky that fast. And the slower, bigger objects are extra little fireballs. Okay, folks, got the photo thing. You won't see that below because basically I messed up on the sizing on this. But you are going to see. Now watch this as I'm going. I'm going backwards right now through my photos because so you basically just seen the first, the last photos that I was able to snap off this video. Now watch this, and I think that's even one right there. But watch this. It's going to move across the sky. Watch your time right down here. This is minutes. Okay. That is 2,200 hours, 14 minutes. Watch how fast this, and yes, folks, light reflections, objects in sky, or orbiting our stratosphere. This thing is going to go across the sky and zigzag, and I'm going to show you a zigzag left and right. Yeah, it's going to be left to right down there. It's going to move to the right down here as it crosses the sky, and it's going to make the sky real freaking fast, folks. Watch the minutes. Okay? Now, let me, I got, so, that's okay. I am going to have to go back to, so, you are seeing what I got for photos. And you can watch the time, because you can see it down there also. Now, that one's going to be able to go across. Now, that's not it to the left. This is actually a different shot, but you're going to be able to pick through the time, and I think I'll get back to getting it as it goes and shoots to the left. See if I can find that shot. And also you got this bright one that comes up here. Goes away. And no, it's not no searchlight or anything in Hawaii. Okay, folks? There's no searchlight in Hawaii there. Not that I know of. And also these objects here in this, in this space come up. Okay. So there you go. That's not an airplane. And as you watch through the sky on a time, I think that's three there. Nineteen twenty one. 192103 1919 and there it goes across the sky at 1921 nothing covers the sky that fast and then especially like that okay a airline an airplane doesn't stretch out like that and there is your V Pyramid in the sky. So here is that one. And this is where I think I'll be able to, if I go back or go forward, <coughs> this here object there, watch the clock 21 four, 22 14, 22 19. That is not an airplane, and I'm going to show you because I'm going to show you zigzag in the video. So, there's a good example, and let's go back to the video, and we're going to show it zigging. And here is Soho tonight. Okay, and this is, again, the dramatic shots idea there up there in space. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to the video. Okay, our object is going to end up... 
coming across the sky and zigzagging. Okay, and as you can see in your watch timer, those are not airplanes. All you got to do is freeze the clock, and there is our triangle. There's our triangle across the sky. Probably more than likely the supergiants because it looks like a wing. And there you go, and then left, right. Did you see that? So watch, and then it's going to go left, right. Do you see that zigzag? Watch that zigzag. It's going to go left, right. Do you see that left, right, and back left? Bam, bam. You can't miss it, folks. It's right here. Watch it come across. Okay, and then it's going to go bam, bam. Left to right and back left. Okay? Left to right, back left, okay? Did it skim off our atmosphere? Comment. Well, this is what I've seen before and people were saying, oh, it's an airplane. Watch my video. Go back to it. Go back to the, f the first Hawaii footage. The V. Now watch it. There it goes. Left and right, okay? If we got an airplane that's badass, well, if we do, we're definitely scaring the hell out of every other country in the friggin' world because check this out. And I really doubt it's an airplane, folks. That is not a flipping airplane. And it's not a UFO. I don't believe in UFOs. I'll stuff an alien. I'll put it in a bag on museum and we'll make millions for crying out loud. Everybody can come and pay me a buck. It's either an asteroid or a comet. Bam, bam, left and right. Check it out, left and right. There it goes. I'm just going to keep on doing it, repeating this so everybody gets an idea and sees it. Bam, bam, left and right. You can see it right where my pointer was at. Now with no pointer. You can just watch there. Nothing can zig across the sky like that. So the telescope more than likely caught an, a comet or an asteroid. And it hit our atmosphere and went bye-bye. Okay. And we have seen footage earlier this year of, of uh, time-lapse photos. Now this is time-lapse video, I believe. Or maybe all photos, doesn't really matter, but see that left and right. You cannot miss it. It's going to be left and right right here and as it comes across the sky. There it comes, left and right, left then right, and then back left. Bam, bam, bam. Not an airplane, ladies and gentlemen. For the people that said airplanes, and we've already shown you the frozen. There goes the V again. Unless we watch, the, here comes the V, more than likely, of the supergiants. And yep, it's in the late 2100 hour in the evening, so it's not the sun. And you will see it across the top. See there? Light from outer space, ladies and gentlemen. And there it goes. And no, folks, it's not a satellite. A satellite can travel fast, like that we're seeing it cross the sky. Now watch this crossing sky action that we just showed you. i got enough time to st explain this. Is it should come across. I think we're in the same spot. or if that, Okay, that could be a sat. That's not a satellite, folks, because watch. You're going to see the zigzag left and r right and left, okay? Satellite's not going to do that. The only thing we know in our arsenal that would be able to do that would be our new that we were talking about Dutch since a long time ago, watching the harp and watching the earthquakes, is the idea that that new space shuttle that we got that's miniaturized, okay? Because you've seen it go left and right right there, right and then left fast, okay? So we've got satellites that can travel that fast, but either that or that's a comet or an asteroid because you've seen it turn, and you'll see it right now. It's going to go right, it'll dodge right, and it'll dodge back left right here. Watch. There it goes. Dodge right, back left, gone. All right, folks, be no blackout for now. Keep watching the skies, checking out all the uh, BS because it's not UFOs, folks. We've got asteroid belts and everything going by like crazy. NASA said we ain't got nothing close. Horse hockey. So more Soho and space shots later in the week, folks. Being a blackout for now, folks. Later.
Have a good night or a good morning. Legal disclaimer.